644 this morning. Time for your health check as we start off with a burning question. When will we get a COVID-19 vaccine? Well, the White House says they hope to have it by January. Experts, though, interviewed by ABC warn that developing a vaccine so soon could mean throwing normal scientific standards just out the window. Right now, more than 100 potential vaccines are being studied. At least eight of those have made progress outside of a lab and into human testing. Now, in order to have a vaccine by the new year, experts say a study needs to be done in parts of the world where the pandemic is still raging. Rushing development could result in important safety issues getting missed. But if everything does go perfectly, the new year is not out of the question. Meanwhile, only about half of Americans polled in a new survey said they would potentially get a vaccine if scientists succeeded. About a third say they're not sure. 20% say they would simply refuse. And more people may be walking around with coronavirus than we have assumed. This suggestion comes from two different studies. One in JAMA Network Open found 42% of a cluster of cases in Wuhan, China were asymptomatic, which means they didn't show any symptoms that we typically associate with COVID-19. Another published in Thorax found twice that 81% of cases on an Antarctic cruise simply did not show any symptoms. And yesterday we talked about how Plano is the top place in the country for staycations, according to Wallet Hub. Well, maybe more people need to take one because Babylon Health analyzed two and a half million tweets over a two week period this month. And they did that to try to figure out which U.S. cities are the most concerned, the most stressed out when it comes to COVID-19. Well, Plano came in second in the entire country behind Stockton, California, at number one. Nearly 41 percent of tweets relating to the coronavirus measured as stressed according to their metrics. And it turns out this pandemic is the push that some folks needed to turn their lives around. We've been eating out less. Obviously, that is helping with portion control and overall healthier food choices. And folks have the opportunity to hit the reset button on some of those bad habits by staying home. Along with better eating, they've been trying to fit in some type of workout each day. And you don't need fancy equipment. You don't even need a gym for it. You can just try to get a walk around the block. Maybe take some weights with you or do some resistance training at home. And that is your health check.